guys, Manon here for this week's video. Um, I am going to try to make something different today as well because I don't want to spend all of my time on YouTube talking about lenses or talking about how to wash wigs or talking about wigs or talking about makeup. Um, sometimes I want to like go around uh, polemic issues in the cosplay community as well because we are all cosplayers and sometimes I have stuff to say about it as well. So today the video is about the huge polemic there is around buying costumes. Uh, should we buy costumes? Are we considered cosplayers if we buy costumes? Uh, I am, a less, am I less of a cosplayer if I buy a costume? Yada yada. So here I am standing on my Victor costume that I bought on eBay. I can't say I have a lot of experience with buying costumes. That is true. Uh, I have bought like maybe two costumes in 10 years of cosplay. I think. I bought my Kuro from Haikyuu costume from AliExpress and I bought my Vitor costume from um, eBay. The thing is, sometimes it's better if you buy them, if you think that it's going to be cheaper. To make Victor's tracksuit it would come out so expensive that buying it for 60 euros to me sounded pretty nice. Same for Haikyuu. Uh, sports fabric are so hard to find here in my country and making something for sports anime it's so complicated that there's no way I'm going to make it. It's, it would turn out so much more expensive. But there are times that actually making your own costumes comes out cheaper. Uh, I don't know, I, I think that I don't usually cosplay mainstream characters because, I don't know, priorities. Sometimes, well, sometimes I do cosplay mainstream characters, I mean, Victor is a mainstream character right now. But sometimes I make really underground characters, like my last costume was Dio from Virtue's Last Reward. I mean, it's 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 an amazing game, but you don't see a lot of cosplayers from it. I, I searched for um, pictures of cosplayers of Dio and pretty much there's like three except me. And um, it's not a very well-known character. Well, of course I would not find that costume on eBay. Uh, so yeah, I had to do it. Uh, and buying it would be really expensive because I can kind of make uh, comparisons between other costumes of the same type and see how much would it cost on eBay. So basically, um, the costume uh, wasn't cheap. Uh, it came out at around $150 uh, tops because I already had the wig. The wig is the most expensive piece of the entire costume because it's from Arda Wigs uh, because I only really trust their lace fronts. <laughs> what can I say? I bought the wig last year so it, came, it didn't come out as expensive as it could be because I already had the wig. For a long time so the price I started buying things well and yeah the watch was super expensive as well um, but um, the costume only the fabric part was around $150 yeah it's expensive but I did it my way and I did it with the details that I wanted and I was able to play with the details if I bought that the same costume from eBay if it existed on eBay it would be like probably a bit cheaper but the fabric and the details and everything would also be quite cheap if you understand me I would have to alter things and I hate doing that kind of stuff of course there are places where you buy costumes that are safer or uh, have better quality fabrics or details obviously but when I started cosplaying uh, all costumes look pretty tacky, like 10 years ago. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm totally a person that thinks that if you want to or if you can't make your own costumes, you don't know how, you don't know how to sew, you don't know how to do your own things, yeah, you just buy them. I mean, you're having fun, aren't you? Isn't it about having fun? Yeah, I think it's about having fun. So, uh, yeah, just one thing though, don't lie about it. Don't, don't, you don't need to lie about it. You are not less professional or less of a cosplayer if you buy costumes. I mean, 
it's all cosplay. Of course, I prefer to make my own things because I feel better about it and uh, I feel accomplished and I like the final result. When I like the final result, I'm super happy about it. But I don't know, some people just don't have the patience or the talent or the money or the, <laughs> the crafting skills. I mean, and they still want to cosplay. Why not? I mean, I don't know. This is my personal opinion on things. Just don't lie about it. I know a couple of people who have bought their costumes and lied through their teeth and uh, and I caught them and I went on eBay and found their costumes and... Uh... Why lie? Why do you need to lie? Do you think people will dislike you for buying costumes? I don't know, nobody cares. At least, I don't care. Uh... As long as you don't go compete on a huge competition, international, like, um, I don't know, and you, you bought your costume and win with a bought costume and lie, saying that you made it, and... As long as you are not dishonest, I don't see a problem with it. It's pretty much just an opinion video, and this topic is such a controversial thing ever, and uh, it will always be for many years to come. Uh, and I thought that I wanted to address this issue uh, someday, so since this week I don't have um, the conditions to make um, any video uh, where I can show detail or something like that, because um, I come out from college really late and it's already night time, uh, when finally summer time will be here soon, like next, this Sunday, Saturday, it's going to change the hour, so I will come home still on daylight and I can record videos for you, finally. Because my only problem about recording is pretty much the light. I don't have light, I'm, this is night time, you having my amazing light from the ceiling because I don't have light and I didn't even put on a costume because it's so late it's like 10 in the night I didn't even put on a costume or makeup or wigs or anything because I really don't need to to just make myself fabulous to speak about such a thing right and sometimes I want to talk about things so I will probably talk about other issues like the the color of your skin issue and uh, stuff that show up in the community from now and then and please notice that these are pretty much my opinion this is my opinion don't come saying that oh it's the rule no it's not the rule it's my opinion some people will probably hate you for buying your costumes I don't know I don't most people that I know don't and if some people that I know do they are automatically not my friends anymore <laughs> I don't want to do to be together with people that think that buying costumes is not cosplay. I do have a different opinion about cost-testers though, because some people just cost-test, they're not cosplayers, they are cost-testers. Uh, I do a lot of cost-test, but I also do costumes, at least I do my best at doing them. So. Don't call yourself a cosplayer if you're a cost-tester. I mean, cosplay is about making costumes or buying costumes or being in a character. You're not a character if you just put on a random wig and you say that you're an L from Death Note. I'm sorry, I, this is my particular view of things. Uh, some I agree, some I not, but if you're, if you're a cost-tester, I still love you and I still praise you for your effort at the makeup, at the look, etc. But... Um, I do understand that some people don't have the money to make costumes and but if you don't have the money to make costumes, why do you have money to have wigs or makeup? That's the thing that blows my mind. I don't know, because I really love cost testing, it really helps me improve, but sometimes I have to be real and you have to tell things in your face. If, you, if, you, if you're a cost tester, you have a lot of value as well, but uh, you're not a cosplayer in the sense of the meaning of cosplayer if you understand me. Anyways, this is a topic for another time, I probably will make a video about this, but uh, um, this is it. 
Uh, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys can share your opinions in the comments down below. I will share it on Facebook so people can give me your, their opinions on the comments or on Facebook and their feedback so I know what to do next. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. I am uh, a bit busy doing costumes for competitions and stuff in the future, so I'll probably make shorter videos, but I'll try to keep myself updated on the videos every week on Thursday. So I'll see you guys next week and uh, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Mind blown.